Sorry, donut. Should I? Should I? Maybe not. Today is November 12th and this entire week is the wind week here at LIGO Hanford. So what's gonna happen is that this chamber, vacuum chambers, that hasn't seen any air since the last wind. When was the last wind? Beginning earlier this year two of them the door is gonna come off and they will be exposed to the air i think for one of the chamber it hasn't seen air for ages years okay before i start the vlog of this entire event i'd like to introduce you to some of the acronyms that i might be throwing around because i'm gonna try to make this vlog useful for me and entertaining for you which is going to be a difficult thing here it is an interferometer layout this is a laser room where the laser come out pew and this is ham one this is the first in vacuum chamber of the entire interferometer so i have ham one what's that stand for ham one ham one ham is a small wait no wait bloop where's ham what's ham stand for um anyway ham one ham two ham three here's a mode cleaner power recycling cavity a beam splitter beam got split in the two arms it's four kilometers away in the x direction and y direction then the light comes back and combine beam split and come down here to ham6 this is where we detected gravitational waves and this is where we are going in yes i do You can hear that it's pretty loud in here because the clean room fans are on. Right now they are cleaning the curtain. Hello! <laughs> that door is gonna come off later today. That's our seismic engineer and a vacuum engineer. I was told that the door has come off so I'm gonna quickly go and see what the status is before I start taking transfer function of the suspensions inside just so we can compare before and after the vent work in case we screw up anything The door is off Go inside. <laughs> I was sent in the optics lab not knowing what I'm looking for really. All I know is that a box with a red writing on it and it's supposed to be uh, 150 for pulling fans. I like all not ours. That's more red writing. That's another red writing. Ah, oh, I should like No, these okay. are that's oh, okay. They're clean okay. inside. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Alright, yeah. cool. Thank you so much. It is now, what time is it? 12.55. It's about lunch time. SSG needs to lock, fiber needs to be replaced, and transmission needs to be measured. We still wait for high voltage to come back on. It is now 3.14. This is how you made a homemade coupler to the Thorlap diode. Very sketchy. It is now about 6 o'clock. 
we got a lot of things done. Uh, what did we get done? New fiber, major transmission, new feed through, swap the in vacuum lens, and new coupler. So the next things to do is scan in green, lock the OPO, measure some losses, and close up, I guess. Today is the second day of the vent in Ham 6 and we are going back to finish the work we left off yesterday. The plan is to jump in and jump out and close up quickly because the longer the chamber is open, the longer stuff out gas and pumping down will take longer. Hopefully we finish all the work in two days and tomorrow we can start closing up ceremony. Ground loop checking, suspension, seismic checking, it's all gonna be good. So right now the green alignment looks pretty bad and it's hard to align anything with a suspended platform so this afternoon we're gonna try to lock the platform at a nominal position and hopefully that helps. And here it is, Helm 6 work round 2 of the day. No idea when we're gonna finish today. It is now 5.20 ish and we have just closed out. That's it for day two of Ham 6 went. We are going to continue tomorrow morning. I think we're making progress. Yeah, we had a misalignment issue which we fixed today and the green mode match now is about 89%. So that's pretty damn good. Tomorrow we are going to lock the OPO and measure some losses and hopefully close out by the end of the day. Yeah, it's all looking good. Today is the third day of Hem 6 win and the first day that Hem 1 door comes off. So what are we gonna do today? Uh, we are going to go in. The fiber needs to be rerouted because the way it is now is rubbing against the suspension. That's not good. Uh, we're gonna lock the cavity and hunt for losses. Hopefully we find it. Uh, the advantage of the corks is that there aren't resonances associated with the resonances of the structure. It's more damp. So instead of having peaks at resonances of the structure, I think they used to be like 2.1 hertz and a couple of things like that, a uh, couple of frequencies like that, then it, they're more gentle. The active isolation has an upper limit. So our isolation, active isolation systems, don't do anything above like 20 hertz. Only the passive part that, that works above 20 hertz. Look at that. It's green flashlight. Oh no, no, no! What the? So we suspect that one of the dichroic mirrors might be mounted wrong, so this green flashlight is gonna help us figure out which side of the coatings are facing the beam. getting out of here. So I'm not sure if you can hear it from here but that's dust monitor beeping which means we somehow bring in too much dust in the clean room area. It's almost five o'clock anyway. In theory we should be done by the end of Tuesday so the ground loop should be moved to 
I don't know, over there. Last day we do sh in Ham Six. It's this inside. Bopo and ZM1. Nothing. 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 You want to get inside my nose here? And then, but if I go right next to where I'm connected, it should be really low. Uh. 0.1 ohms. Oh, so it's here, a between. It should be like 0.2 ohms. If we oh. go to the top, it should be about 0.3 ohms. So it, or maybe lower. Oh, it goes around the outside. So the, the longer distance that you have, the more resistance you're going to have. Uh -huh. even, in, even in metal, the, there's resistance value based on the length of, of the electron flow, right? I see. So if I go over the beam tube, you're at That's 2 ohms two because ohms. it goes up into the, the ground straps uh -huh. and across and back down. Yeah, so that, that kind of, you can get an idea, um, are you close or is it far away? If it's, if it's anything over 1 or 2 ohms, then the short might be further away. Downstream or you saw it open up that system? I think we found which cable that was. Six meg. Open. Eight meg. Hasn't changed. Oh yeah. Five meg. Open. We fixed it. Oh, they fixed it, not me. <laughs> Hugh fixed it. Hugh fixed it. Yay, Hugh.